We're gonna walk through how to run our Bantam Tools desktop CNC milling machine. We're gonna use a simple aluminum block and do a pretty basic cutout. We're actually gonna make this little maze that we see right here and let's get started. So I've already done some of the basics. So I made the tool paths in Fusion um, and brought them into the Bantam software. So everything's mostly set up. I measured our stock. So I took some caliper measurements so I know exactly what size this block is. And now we're gonna start installing. So the first thing I'll do here is pop this open and we're gonna clamp this down into the back. So we have a couple little different fixtures that you can use. I'm gonna use our straightforward clamps today. So the next thing we have to do is you'll see right now we don't have a tool in here. So I'm gonna add in our first tool. We're gonna to start off with a quarter inch end mill. So a pretty standard bit. So we have two different collets. Collets are just what holds the tool. So I have to use a bigger one for a bigger bit like this. Okay, so now that we've got the machine plugged in, it does a homing run to get started. So it just needs to check where everything is. So the first thing I'm gonna do is we just put in a quarter inch drill bit. So I'm gonna switch it over to tell it it's running with a quarter inch drill bit right now. And we need to start and do what's called a touch off. And so we'll see if it's gonna go straight down until it taps on the aluminum bed. So there we go, now it knows what type of tool it has in there and how long that tool is. Now we're gonna move ahead here to where our material is set up. So like I said, I already measured that block before I put it in, so my sizes are already set up. But now I have to do what's called probing. So I'm gonna try and find the front corner of this block. So now what we should see is if we take a look in the software, our block is now sitting roughly in the same place that it is on our actual machine. So now we're gonna get started. So we're gonna start off just with our first tool path and we're gonna mill off the top of the block so that it's nice and flat. Okay, so that was our first tool path and what we see now is that we have a nice shiny flat top to our block so we're ready to do our little maze pattern now. So our maze has to be done with a smaller tool so I'm going to switch us over to an eighth of an inch drill bit. So this is an eighth of an inch flat end mill. So now with this tool, this is a much shorter tool so it's important here that we don't install this all the way back up. If we put it all the way up here like this then the machine won't be able to find it. So we want to make sure that we have it about an inch, um, an inch cleared from the top of the tool. So just like we did before, we're gonna do a tool touch off so it knows how long that tool is. Okay, so now we don't need to redo any of our setup like we did before where we found the corner of the block. It still knows where the block is. All we did was change the tool. So now we can go ahead and run our other tool path. And one thing that's really important when we're running a job like this is you'll notice that I'm keeping my hand over the e-stop button the entire time. If there were to be an incident where maybe the block comes loose or we had programmed this tool path wrong, it's going to make a lot of noise. You'll know very quickly that it's not doing what it should be doing. So you always want to keep your hand near the e-stop button as it's running, just in case you program something wrong. So when you're done, we can do the same thing as when we got started. We're going to open this right back up. our material out and then the important thing here is just this obviously makes a big mess we have metal shards everywhere so you want to make sure you brush everything off inside and then we'll vacuum it out so now in theory no one would know we were here and if you take a look at our block you can see that we've started to make the beginnings of this little maze so we didn't run the whole thing it would be roughly this deep obviously we have not cut it that deep but we've just started and you can see that there was an issue where we didn't fixture this down tight enough. The clamps came loose and we had a little bit of a runoff to the side where we had to shut the machine down and restart, reclamp it down and try again. But there's the beginning of our maze. So that's our overview of the Bantam Tools other mill. 